welcome back to my channel my name is Taryn if you've never seen my beautiful face before in today's video it is going to be different from the videos that are on this channel which I say that every time just because my channel at this moment does not have a theme and it never really has a theme but I can tell you that I started this channel for one reason and it was on some like personal finance get your life together in your 20s with me type stuff and it has diverted for that from that and I think I want to get back to that because that's that's one of the things that I'm very passionate about and I'm at a point in my life where I'm in I wouldn't say I'm in a financial bind but I'm not where I want to be financially I was in a relationship for three years I am no longer in that relationship and I can admit that my time in that relationship I my priorities were different and it's not necessarily a bad thing because that's something that just happens when you're in love and you tend to get clouded by all the happy feelings that you're having and the good time that you're having and your priorities kind of get skewed a little bit so we're going to get on back on track uh because before I was on it okay and now I need to get back together I feel like I was ahead of the game before and I don't want to say that I'm playing catch up now but I definitely could be further than I am so we're going to get it together and y'all are gonna be on this journey with me so first I wanted to detail to y'all my 2022 financial goals because I do have a couple you know they're not nothing too crazy there's there are things that are you know attainable but they are things that I definitely want to accomplish by the end of this year so let's get right on into it so first once upon a time I had an emergency fund but I don't have that in anymore. And um, that's important because what if I have an emergency? <laughs> I won't have no money to, to figure it out. So that's goal number one is to rebuild my emergency fund. Now I am an advocate. I used to be like a diehard Dave Ramsey fan. Like we're going to do these baby steps, knock them out. But I realized that I don't have to follow them like to the T, I can kind of um, adjust them to fit my lifestyle and to fit my situation. So I am going to start with the $1,000 emergency fund. That's baby step number one. For those of you who don't know, um, is before you start paying off any debt is to um, start with $1,000 emergency fund. So that's my goal, which is not like an unattainable goal at all. I probably am going to fund my emergency fund once taxes come around and that'll be that and if i don't fund it once taxes come around it'll get funded eventually oh well, i'm not gonna say that because i want to i want to be adamant about this so first three months of 2022 that will be funded okay my second financial goal which is kind of a big one for me anyway i want to move into my own apartment so being in a relationship i didn't have an issue living with my significant other but i had always said that i wanted to live alone at some point in my life and i have a great 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 situation with my mom and in any other circumstance i would say if you have the opportunity to live with your parents and not pay rent or pay discounted rent and save money on rent i would say take it and I even, you know, I'm going to wait a while and still take my own advice, but I do want to experience living on my own because I do not want to find myself in another long-term situation wishing that I would have ventured out on my own for a while. You know what I mean? And it's not, it's probably not going to be like a six month type thing. It probably is going to be a year just because I recognize the economic just downsides of signing a six month lease you end up spending a lot more money in the long run so it probably will be you know like a year or so that i'll sign a lease for and i also don't want to leave this good situation at my mom's house and just go down the street like no i want to like move move so i'm thinking um charlotte which is only like an hour and a half away uh because i need to get out of south carolina y'all ain't nothing here for me i need to go i need to go so um i do plan on of course having first and last month's rent saved 
just in case that's one of the terms of signing a lease somewhere and they usually do have um, like admin fees and stuff like that that you have to pay up front which is like a couple hundred dollars so I'll probably just have that saved just in case the type of person I am I'm gonna want money for like furniture and everything too so it's just like I'm probably gonna have a couple thousand dollars saved if I do plan on moving and if I do move it'll probably be like like May, June, something like that. My third goal for 2022 is to secure at least one other source of income. Now, I have been someone who has lived fine off of my one nine to five job income, like fine comfortably. And I do have a job that I really like at the moment, um, but one of the advantages of my job is I work remotely. So I have the energy to do something else that's going to generate me more income, whether that be passive or active. I don't mind having another active source of income. Um, I've had a few ideas about it. I have been thinking about opening a small bookkeeping business because my mom has a couple of small businesses and my dad has a small business as well and they can be my first clients. I'll do their books for them. Um, maybe free, maybe for a little, a small little charge, you know. We'll, we'll talk about the terms later once we get there, but I probably am going to set aside money from my tax refund to start that up as well. Last but not least, one of my final and probably the most important to me on this goal of 2022 is to pay off my dog on credit card debt. I did have a little bit of credit card debt, um, before my life kind of changed a little bit but i was well on my way to completely paying it off and since then i have managed to probably triple it <laughs> with the help of higher balances and new credit cards so i definitely want to get rid of all my consumer debt all of my credit card debt because that's about the worst debt you could have i'm not really focused on my student loans right now because i don't have that many of them i have maybe ten thousand dollars worth of student loans and my student loan is the oldest thing on my credit report so i'm not i don't want to pay that off out of fear of that actually um hurting my credit so not really worried about my student loans my consumer debt is my biggest priority right now i'm trying to get that down get that paid off so i can start using that extra money for other things probably saving probably investing y'all will see because we're gonna get it paid off this year okay um so that's it um if y'all have any financial goals let me know y'all's financial goals maybe i, I need some inspiration y'all because it's not gonna be a tough journey i've done it before but it's definitely going to be a journey nonetheless so that's all i have for y'all i can ramble about this on and on and on about personal finance because it truly is something that i enjoy but i'm going to end the video here if you have any questions or concerns please let me know um if you like the video let me know if you don't like the video let me know and and let me know how i can improve so that you'll like the video next time that's pretty much it that's all i have i'm wishing you lots of love and peace and light and happiness as always and i hope you come back next time Bye.